In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And God said, Let us make man in our image and give him dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle of the land. It's clear to see this world as a gift. This gift has been abused. It's by the very people it was gifted to. The world has faced many problems in its 14 billion year existence, but now we are facing perhaps the biggest, most detrimental crisis we may ever face. Climate change. It's crippling our world. It's affecting us all. We seem motionless in our attempts to combat it. The ice caps are melting. The air is unfit to breathe. Water is becoming polluted. This isn't something we can run away from anymore. The face of our planet is becoming irreversibly damaged. Water levels are rising at their fastest rate in 2,000 years. And Arctic sea ice glaciers are melting at an alarming rate. Evidently, something needs to change. By no means is this an easy task to overcome. So surely we should be working as a community trying to solve the problem we have created. We should be seeking inspiration from some of the world's most influential people. However, arguably the world's most powerful man, the leader of the free world, seems to be neglecting his position and turning a blind eye to this catastrophe. Donald Trump put out the Paris Agreement, an agreement within the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Now surely this is a step in the wrong direction. I must question, is he the right man for the job? Aside from politics, one of the world's most influential leaders gives us hope which may have ostensibly seemed lost. Pope Francis released his encyclical Laudato Si' in 2015, which addressed climate change. Furthermore, this kind of ethical thinking can be found in the Bible, such as in the Parable of the Talents, when we learn about giving more to future generations and providing inspiration to combat climate change. Other examples are the Golden Rule, when we learn about doing what's best for the common good. This is not just a religious matter, however. It's an ethical one. We as humans should look after each other and the world we live in. We have the duty to look after those less fortunate than ourselves. It's people in the poorest areas of the world who will be affected. Farmers will not be able to grow crops. People will be displaced due to rising water levels. We may be on the verge of facing more refugee problems. The outlook is bleak when we consider we may use all of the Earth's resources by the year 2050. We cannot simply wave a magic wand and get rid of this problem. However, there are things we can do to help. Something we can all do is use more public transport. This will help cut carbon emissions, which is one of the main problems in global warming. The world also may seek to cut its heavy dependence on burning fossil fuels. Alternative sources of energy may include solar and hydropower. We're not saying the task ahead is easy, but every little helps. So turn off the light, the TV, the tap, and any other form of wasted energy. Because before we know it, they may once again be nothing. Just like in the beginning.